Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today we have traveled to the Nashville Super Speedway for the Nashville 60. This is going to be race number 16 in the More Freedom Series Season 4 with only three races to go until halfway. Let's go through your current top 10 in points. After his win last week, your points leader is, is going to be the 20 of Adam B. 5000. Second is going to be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Third will be the 49 of Jetman. Fourth will be the 799 of Mike Chick. Fifth will be the double zero of Mudbone. Sixth will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Seventh will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Eighth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Ninth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. And rounding out your top 10 will be the three of Geek Girl Games. Let's check in on your team and chassis standings. MBR still leads the way over Douche Motorsports. Third is Ace of the Zed Motorsports. Fourth is Amish Buggy Racing, and rounding out the top five, the Drop Bear Racing Team. Chassis standings look like this. Dodge Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So that is a look at all things points here in the More Freedom Series. They're getting these cars dialed in. The crowd is already piled into the track here, so I think it's about time. So let's go racing. Let's go through your starting lineup today for this Nashville 60. Starting on the pole will be the 8 of Moon Bunny, and on her outside, the 72 of Duchess. Starting third will be the 51 of AJM, and on his outside, the 25 of JTM. Starting fifth will be the 3 of Geek Girl Games, and on her outside, the 10 of Scooter. Starting seventh will be the 203 of Science, and on his outside, the points leader, the 20 of Adam B5000. Starting ninth will be the 07 of Douche Baggins, and rounding out your top 10 will be the double zero of Mudbone. So that's a look at your top 10, your starting top 10 today for this Nashville 60. Should be an exciting race here in the More Freedom Series. As I, I don't know what's going to happen to get that beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car ducking off. Moon Bunny linking us down to take this green flag. She's into that start zone. The green flag is out, and we are underway as we see. The 25 jump out to the outside right there, right away. Down into turn one. Moon Bunny's going to lead the way right now with the three wide for second position. No longer three wide as the 51 of AJM down to the inside of the 72 of Duchess. We're going to see if it's high line, low line here today at Nashville as the 25 battling right there for the fourth position. So far, it looks like the high line for that 72 of Duchess as the 51 knocking on her back door uh, but the eight of moon bunny will be your leader here today on lap number one of hopefully 60 laps of green flag action so moon bunny is your leader right now over the 72 of duchess the 51 of ajm and the 25 of jtm uh, let's bring up your timing and scoring As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top. Uh, yeah, so Moon Bunny leading the way right now over the 72 of Duchess and that 51 and the 25. Three of Geek Girl Games is next. Let's check back through the field as we see three wide battle right now between the 211, the 999, and the 07. Hogs on the outside, high above his teammate and car owner, that 07 of Douche Baggins. Hogs is going to get that position right there. This is a battle on the track for the 10th pos position with Hogs now taking that over. As we see the 07 battling it out with the 999 of Deviant. So Deviant for the Drop Bear Racing Team. Again, great story for the 999. Currently into the 31st place in points after missing four races here this season. Jump back through the field as we see the 356 of Ice Cream some days getting that position away from the 34 of Super Snake. Looks like the 95 of Zed Brunna might try to go the outside line here on that 34 of Super Snake. So the Pink Panther thought about it on the outside there for a minute, not able to pull off the pass. As we see the, I thought I saw that 96 on the outside of the 71 of Kung Fu Beer way back here. And the 19th position right now is the 96 and the 71 battling it out on the track. Looks like 
Nico will take away the 18th position from the 71 of Kung Fu Beer, and it looks like Beer's teammate, the 40 of Veteran Chaos and the 88 of NM, also going to follow suit there with the 96 of Nico as they work to the outside of the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Beer staying there on the bottom of the track. Not, it, I think it's just getting freight trained around the outside right now. As we see the 33 and the 300 about to make a move. Oh, no, we got the 33 of Harvey Jones down to the inside on the apron. So Harvey down to the inside trying to make a pass on the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Instead of making it three wide, him going up the middle, he uh, elects to drop down to the bottom. So Beer able to get back in line here. He would have. He's going to have lost about four or five positions. Keep jumping back through this field as we see the triple seven of Seabass working to the outside. Have that 23 of Fuller than you. We're going to see if he can work to the outside of the 33 of Harvey Jones. Now he's going to drop into line as the 13 and the 420 right here working to the outside of their teammate, the 23 of Fuller than you. So King and Queen here on the track working to the outside of, of that 23 of Fuller than you. And it looks like Frederick might try to... Oh, Frederick's going to try the maneuver as he works down to the bottom there. Watching Duber get a great run on that 23 of Fuller than you. He's going to have to push to the top line with the 49 of Jetman and possibly the 666 of Pistol Pete. And we're going to see if Pistol Pete goes... He's definitely going high around the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum. Here comes his teammates, the 660 of Garrett Miller right to his back bumper as we have Mike Check out here in the tail end of the field. So Frederick looks like he's going to lose a few positions. He may even lose this, lose this spot to the 799 of Mike Check. May put him all the way back in the back. Again, Frederick, two-time winner this season. Uh, also led the points for a few, a few races there as second in points right now, but Second to last on the track here at Nashville. As we see that 799 of Mike Check working to the outside of the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum now. So Winkle going all the way to the back here at Nashville. We'll check in on your leader as we see the 72 of Duchess thinking about working to the inside right there. Mostly single file action up here at the front. It's definitely going to be an interesting day in the pits today. Uh, let's see what these drivers can do. Getting into the pits, getting out of the pits, the pit stop itself. Uh, because with just the, you know, there's not a lot of passing here at Nashville, unfortunately. And without with not a lot of passing, it can make, you know, it's make it or break it on pit road here. As we see Boon Bunny... Working through the turn here on lap number 12. So Moon Bunny working, still your first place leader with the, everybody basically lined up nose to tail almost. Uh, the 20 of Adam E5000, again, your points leader after his win last week at Pocono, representing his home track last week impressively representing his own track last week at Pocono and he currently resides in the seventh position here today in front of the double zero of Mudbone who is fifth in points right now I believe Mudbone won the Daytona 100 this season first race of the year I believe I know he's won a race and I think it was Daytona so he's working right now in the eighth the, yeah the eighth position in front of the 203 of signs and the 999 of Deviant. We do see that the 999, the 07, and the 356 able to get around the 211 of Hogs here. As Ice Cream has moved up to the 12th position after starting 17th here today. Hogs started in the 12th position, is now in the 13th position. As there was a pass on the track for 
the 40 of Vetri Chaos and seeing it in the timing and scoring. Vet able to get around the 88 of NM. So there's a few passes here and there on the track as we see Scooter going around the outside of the 20 of Adam B5000 allowing the double zero of Mudbone to follow suit here. So Mudbone working around the 20 of Adam B5000 on the outside. And I wonder if that was Adam trying to make a pass on possibly the 25. And that's why he went low and everybody else stayed high there. As we do see the 50, oh, so the three of Geek Girl Games able to get around the 25 at JTM. So that moves G3 up into the fourth position as the, the battle on the track is, I mean, it, it's not much of a battle right now between the eight and the 72. So both douche motorsports cars right here, which if they can pull off a one, two finish here today, that could be very, very good for their team points as they currently are only 23 points behind MBR for the lead in the team standings. As we see Duchess pulling low there, I think she was gonna to try to make a run on the eight of Moon Bunny, uh, decided not to. That's gonna slow up the 51 of AJM as he gets to the back bumper of that 72. We're gonna see if G3 takes advantage here because it looks like she might. Well, not able to take advantage at three of Geek Girl Games. It could have been a one, two, three ladies of the field up at the front of this at the front of this race if she gets around the 51 of AJM, who is definitely looking for a great race here today. He is steadily falling back in the points, down to 22nd right now, right in front of his teammate and brother, the 23 or the 96 of Nico. So AJM, who was early going top 10 in points has now fallen back to 22nd as we see pit stops happening here today on lap number 19 so looks like it's going to be possibly a two or three stop race here today as we're going to watch duchess bring it down pit road here see what that 72 harbor chevy for douche motorsports can do Very, very long pit road. Actually, it's kind of just like a slow pit road here today as they're both right there into their pit stalls. Left side tires for both the 51 and the 72. Looks like it's going to be a four-tire stop for both cars here today with fuel going in. So fuel in, tires on, and they're both down and away here at Nashville. So that, I believe, the 8 of Moon Bunny, probably she she would have pitted just now, I think. Yes, there she is. I caught up to her. So the last three to pit are going to be the 8, the 3, and the 999 here today as they're going to come in with this pit road congestion and have to speed up and slow down to get around some of these cars. So... That could be beneficial for the 72 of Duchess and the 51 of AJM. As we see Moon Bunny trying her des desperately trying to get into her pit stall right now. Finally able to get into her pit stall is that 8 of Moon Bunny as she has right side tires going on. The Hot Topic Chevy for Douche Motorsports. Left side tires and fuel going in that 8 of Moon Bunny. The three of Geek Girl Games, I can hear that she is down and away as well, and she is going to beat out the eight of Moon Bunny after that pit road congestion. And it looks like the 72 of Duchess is going to take over the lead here today, but I want to point out the fact that Moon Bunny, went 20, Moon Bunny and G3 both went 21 laps, so I think they're going to one more pit stop and that should get him to the end of this race. Um, that's going to be quite, it's going to be kind of questionable for the 72 and the 51 if they can go all the way to the end here today because they stopped on like the start of lap 20. So we're going to find out. We're going to see what it's going to be. It's going to be a gamble. Um, we're already looking forward to all that crew chief math 
and what they're going to try to do to figure out how are we going to how many are we stopping when we stopping next are we going to try we they're going to have to extend their fuel because g3 and moon bunny both were able to go a couple laps farther but let's go through your current top 10 your leader is the 72 of duchess Second place is going to be the 51 of AJM. Third is going to be the 25 of JTM. Fourth will be the 10 of Scooter. Fifth will be the 3 of Geek Girl Games. Sixth will be the double zero of Mudbone. Seventh will be the 8 of Moon Bunny. Ninth will be the 29 of Wishbone Attack. No, eighth will be the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Ninth will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 999 of Deviant. So Ice Cream, who again started 17th, has worked herself into the top 10, as well as the 29 of Wishbone Attack, who started 19th here today. As we're riding around watching that 999 of Deviant, who currently runs in the 10th position. Catch up to your leader, that 72 of Duchess jump to the end of this field as we see the 420 at Queen of Hearts has fallen all the way to the back after her pit stop so she currently resides in the 33rd position and check in on some of these other drivers here today as the 20 of Adam B5000 who started top 10 here today he started in the 8th position has now fallen all the way back to 26th on the field so the 544 of Frederick Winklevom, who is behind him. Uh, let's see, the 49 of Jetman currently runs 13th right now. So Jetman, after starting 30th, has worked himself up to the 13th position, which he is 71 points behind Adam B5000 right now for the, the points lead. So, but also um, Mudbone and G3, and I mean, almost all, almost all the rest of them are in front of Adam right now, with the exception of Mike Check and Frederick. Keep jumping through this field. There's the Pink Panther right there, chilling behind the 88 of NM and the 07 of Douche Baggins. DB's falling back to the 16th position right now. He's watching this battle for 16th and 17th on the track between the 07 and the 88. Kind of content to ride right now, I think, is the 88 of NM. And if again, like we got about 10 more laps before we see pit stops. Catch back up here to the front of the field as we see the eight of Moon Bunny was thinking about working to the inside of the double zero of Mudbone. So Moon Bunny is trying to get back up to the front of this field and get that lead back after leading the first 21 laps. But again, that congestion on pit road really made the difference as you saw that the 72 and the 51 who came in first had zero congestion on pit road and they were able to get in and out in, in really great time. So Duchess and AJM running up here at the front of the field, nose to tail with the 51, uh, basically drafting the 72 and just you know, working together right now, they're not really gaining any, they're not really leaving the 25 of JTM in the dust. As a matter of fact, it looks like JTM might actually be catching both of these drivers right now. We're going to see if he can pull along that 10 of Scooter with him, but AJM slowly, or I'm sorry, JTM, there's lots of 25 88s here in the field. Um, but JTM is slowly catching up to AJM. And I probably had it right. It just, I was getting confused in my own head about it, you know. So, 
Still could be a good points day for Douche Motorsports as they lead here. And again, 23 points behind MBR. And if a win gets your team and the chassis stand, the team and chassis 25 points. So um, as we see the 51 ducking down to the inside, we're going to see if he can get on the hammer, try to get to the inside. He's not able to make that pass. Sorry, my phone was ringing in the booth. Uh, as we see the three of Geek Girl Games, who I believe was... Now, she's behind that 10 of Scooter. So G3 is trying to make a pass down low on the 10. He's going to get a great run off of turn two down the backstretch into turn three and four. So G3 not able to make that pass on the 10 right now, but I mean, it is a possibility that she could make it here in a minute as she is looking to try to get, I mean, points are points at this point. And any, any places you can get, because like I said, we're three races from halfway here in the more freedom series which is crazy to think about that we're only three races from halfway through this season with milwaukee and fort wayne still to come after today here at nashville so we're going short track then very very super super speedway as we see the 51 trying to dive down to the inside he has to get on the brakes So the 51 of AJM is looking like he's going to lose that position to the 25 of JTM as we're closing in on almost 20 laps since they took their pit stops. So the 51 and the 72 may be getting ready to come in here for pit stops in just a moment as we see the three of Geek Girl Games trying to get down to the inside of the 10, a scooter right now. So G3 is able to make that pass on the 10 of Scooter with the help of the 51 of AJM. So that draft help by the 51 after he lost that position to the 25 trying to make a run for the lead, uh, that draft actually helped and he was able to get around or she was able to get around the 10 of Scooter as a result. So that's the strategy here today is, is that if you're going to make this pass for the lead, JTM, you've got to get the, the 51 and the 3 right in there behind you to help you make that pass. As, again, we're closing in on 21 laps to go. So it looks like, and I'm guessing, it's going to be a two-stop race for everyone here today as I, I can't imagine that Duchess is going to go stop with I mean I said that before that I can't imagine that somebody's going to stop with one lap to go but it does happen so we do see the 51 of AJM duck off and into the pits he is the first taker for pit road with exactly 20 laps to go so I'm guessing that it is it it's going to be a wild crazy end here uh, and we're going to see if people run out of gas or all that stuff here today at Nashville is it's definitely going to be a fuel mileage deal as we see the 25 and the 72 ducking off the three of Geek Girl Games will take over the lead here it's going to give her those very important five bonus points as we'll watch the 72 and the 25 coming down pit road here So slow pit lane speeds here at Nashville as we see the 25 ducking in. The 10 was in. The 72 is in. The 8 is in. 
So right side tires going on for all three. Well, you can't see JTM, but he's there. He's got right side tires, left side tires going on right now, getting as much fuel as they can into these cars. JTM down and away. He's going to come out second behind the 72 of Duchess. He's going to try to get the hammer down. I think he was thinking about making a pass right there on the on the apron. But if you look at that, the 51 or the three of Geek Girl Games just coming into the pits. The 51 of AJM able to get in and out of the pits in front of the 72 and the uh, the 25. Excuse me. We're watching your leader, the three of Geek Girl Games. Oh, and she has to slow up for the 20 of Adam B5000. The only, the only thing is, is that they don't have to put in as much fuel into the three as they had for everybody else. So we're going to see if that helps with that having to slow down for the 20 of Adam B5000 right there. So she's down and away here at Nashville. Well, I see the 72. I'm not sure what happened to the 51. He may have had an issue. Yeah, it looks like the 51 of AJM had an issue and it's fallen all the way back to 22nd position. So AJM, who you are not going to believe it, folks, AJM has blown a tire and has been forced to retire, no pun intended, from the race. So he blew a tire and it must have torn up his car. So what a bad terrible break for the 51 of AJM who would have been in the lead of this race but he ends up with a tire issue and has now fallen out of the race wild crazy turn of events here but let's go through your current top 10 your leader with 14 laps to go here at Nashville is the 72 of Duchess Second's going to be the 25 at JTM. Third's going to be the 10 of Scooter. Scooter looking for win, win number two here this season. And it, from third place, it is a possibility. Uh, fourth is going to be the 49 of Jetman, who, again, started way back in 30th position. He has worked himself up to the fourth position after those pit stops. Fifth is going to be the double zero of Mudbone. Sixth will be... As Mudbone runs G3 down to the bottom of the track right there. Sixth is going to be, is up for grabs between, the th or fifth is up for grabs between the, Z the double zero and the three of Geek Girl Games. So G3 currently running in the sixth position. Seventh is going to be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Eighth will be the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Ninth will be the eight of Moon Bunny. And rounding out your 10, rounding out your top 10 still is a 999 of Deviant. So Deviant still running top 10 right now as we see the 356, the 88 trying to work together to get around the uh, 211 of Hogs right now. As we see cars piling up on the outside, the 95 trying to get around the 88 and his teammate, the 11 of TC Roberts. I haven't talked much about TC lately. He had a win early the season and is steadily in the top 10 all, all season. Currently running eighth in points. He is currently 16th on the track. As we see a three wide battle behind him between the 07, the 96 and the 300. So the 300 thinks better of all of that, drops in behind the 96 of Nico. As we see the 11 of TC Roberts working around the outside of the 88 of NM right here. And we see the 300 was thinking about getting to the inside of the 96.
highlight the fastest lap of the day here today as we see the 40 maybe trying to work to the outside of the three of Geek Girl Games. So veteran Chaos working to the outside of the three of Geek Girl Games right now. Vet currently resides in the eighth position in points. Run one, one spot ahead of G3 as G3 able to power her car back around on the bottom and around and stay in front of the 40 of Veteran Chaos. So G3 does have a good car, but with only a handful of laps here to go, um, I don't think there's any way that she's going to be able to get up here to the front. As we see Scooter trying it on the bottom right now on the 25 of JTM, um, which is going to allow a gap for that 72 of Duchess to form. So Duchess, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure that uh, Scorer Racing and Douche Motorsports have a sort of partnership going on the back end that, I mean, it would make sense for the 10 to try to race the 25 if that is the case, if there is a partnership between those two racing stables. And, hey, if you can race the 25 and help me to get out front as we see him jumping down to the inside again. But knowing, knowing Scooter, he definitely wants to try for this win here today. And he does have to get around that 25 at JTM to be able to get that win. I do want to highlight the fastest lap of the day by the 13 at King of the Aces with 159.323 miles per hour or 30.134 seconds. I do recall earlier this season, uh, the 49 of Jetman also had tire issues for MBR. So I don't know. I, I know that they're hoping that that's not a continuing trend in uh, the MBR the MBR team, but you never know. Uh, pit ro pit pitting, pit road, and everything else has been the just the Achilles heel for MBR this season. As we've seen all those issues with, you know, Nico leading the race, coming onto pit road, his crew not being ready. And him having to come back in another lap after a, a couple laps to get service. And just slow pit stops by MBR. But, I mean, the pit stops today for that 49 of Jetman have obviously been amazing as he has worked himself up to. What's he in now? He's, he's still in the number four position. As we see the three of Geek Girl Games trying to get down to the inside of the double zero of Mudbone. This might be bad for G3 as she's got the 29 on her outside right now. We're going to see what the 999 of Deviant does. As G3 is just, that car for her is just, has been so good all day long. And unfortunately, just that slow pit stop put her back here in the back of the, in the, middle of the top 10 she currently resides in sixth but yeah if she hadn't had that slow pit stop due to pit road traffic i can only imagine that she would be still leading this race as just a note 72 of duchess has led the most laps here today at 33 as of right now with just a couple laps to go so unless a miracle drive by that 25 at JTM, this is shaping up to be Duchess's day after starting outside pole to the eight of Moon Bunny. And again, Moon Bunny got shuffled back due to pit road, due to traffic on pit road, and then D Duchess being able to come in when she did and make that pit stop, first one on pit road for the first stop of the day. That I think that was the biggest. Thing that Douche Motorsports could have done for this 72 of Duchess as I think we're going to get that might, was that the end of that might have been the end of the race nope we got the white flag we got the white flag 
coming down. Checker flag is out for the 72 of Duchess. I didn't even realize that it was the white flag. Uh, my timing and scoring didn't show it. So, yes, your winner here today in amazing fashion, the 72 of Duchess. Let's go through your finishing top 10. Again, your winner today for Douche Motorsports is the 72 of Duchess. Second place is going to be the 25 of JTM. Third will be the 10 of Scooter. Fourth will be the 49 of Jetman. Fifth will be the double zero of Mudbone. Sixth will be the 3 of Geek Girl Games. Seventh will be the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Eight, eighth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Ninth will be the 999 of Deviant. And rounding out your top 10, the 8 of Moon Bunny. So next week, we head to Milwaukee again for the Milwaukee 60. So it should be an interesting race again next week. Um, I can't remember. Milwaukee might have had a few cautions last time when we were there, I think. Let's check, check in on your current points, see who is leading there. Uh, good day for the 49 of Jetman. So we're, you're going to see that you're seeing your points here on the screen. Let's also check in on your team and chassis standings as we're going to see what, if there's any shakeup at the top, because Douche Motorsports was very close. So you're seeing those on the screen. Well, that's going to do it today from here at the Nashville Super Speedway. Congratulations again to the 72 of Duchess. She pulls out the win in an amazing fashion. Great pit stops. Able to get in and out without any problems. And just a tough break for the 51 as I see his pit stall right there. But, yeah, great job by Douche Motorsports here today. Uh, and until next week at Milwaukee, take care.